Dear younger cat, Hey, it's me, 2015 cat. I want your journey into adulthood to be an enjoyable one, so why not share some of my wisdom and knowledge with you? Be nicer to your younger sister. You don't want to be her first introduction into what bullying is. Your mom is going to tell you that she knows how to curl your hair for that one school picture. Don't trust her, because you will end up looking like George Washington. Don't exploit yourself as a Latina for other people's acceptance or for their gratification. Being tough or hypersexual is not what it means to be Latina. You are not here for anyone's entertainment. I know that you want to start working right away in order to lessen the financial burden for your parents, but what they want most in the world is to spend time with you. Chill out and relax and enjoy being a kid. You're frustrated at how boys and girls are being treated unequally, and I get that. But you don't fix the problem by gloating about how you're one of the guys. Masculinity is not the only way to gain respect from others. Don't be afraid of the feminine. Befriend some girls because sisterhood is going to be the basis of your feminism. Now I know you don't know what feminism is yet, but trust me, it's going to be a big part of your life. Listen to your mom and don't touch your eyebrows because you had no idea what you were doing with those tweezers. Stop seeking validation from others, especially guys, your bosses, or white people. They don't know everything. Trust the wisdom that you have at home with your own family. Their stories will be the most inspiring things that you've ever heard. Okay, you know how you go to Colombia and Peru in the summers and you come back with like a bag or hat or a sweater with native prints on them? Well, when you go to school, do not feel embarrassed to wear those things publicly because now in 2015, those very prints are being sold in Forever 21 and Vogue is saying that these prints are trending. So wear them and wear them proudly because you will be ahead of the time. You weren't always so cool. So when you actually start attaining some type of popularity status, don't forget how awful you felt when you were being bullied. Don't be mean to others in order to boost your own self-confidence. You know better than that. There will come a day when you are late for the school bus. You will want to run, but I am here to tell you, do not run because you will fall and bust your ass on a pile of garbage and instead of the bus driver driving away, he will stay. And then you'll have to get onto a bus full of people that just saw you bust your ass into a pile of garbage. Don't do it. There will be a moment in junior high school where things get a little weird, where guys will start slapping girls' asses out of nowhere. Now the first time that this happens to you, you're actually gonna throw a punch. But then when you realize that people are laughing at you for not accepting the sexual advance, don't fall into peer pressure. No one deserves to be touched inappropriately. Continue standing up for yourself. Go ahead and cut your hair already. I know that you've wanted to do it for so long. So what if people love your long hair? You're not here to live for others. And while you're at it, if you want to dye your hair a crazy color, don't hesitate. Just do it. You're going to love it. And ultimately, my beloved younger cat, don't change too much because you're already pretty awesome as you are. Thanks for watching. Make sure to check out four of my other favorite Dear Me videos. And don't forget to subscribe.